What is good, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you guys how to use After Effects as an highlight motion user. It will be very simple and easy to understand. If you know how to use highlight motion, then you'll be able to use After Effects. It's really similar in some ways. So first, create a new project. Go over to new project. Click on new composition. Then what you're going to do is rename your composition. And just choose an aspect ratio. Right there, I'm going to keep it at default. And you can change your frame rate. Hey there once you're done with this go ahead and click on ok as you can see you're greeted with this all of this this is the timeline this is where all of your layers will be and this right there is the place where all of your media will be i'm talking about pictures videos etc this panel right there is where you will be able to pick some effects and put it inside your clips so to import videos and photos what you're going to do now is go to file there go to import file now you're going to choose your media now once you imported your video it's going to appear there it's not going to appear on your timeline immediately so to put it in your timeline all you're going to have to do is just hold it press and hold it and slide it inside your timeline right there yes as you can see you got your video as you can see, there is a layer, there is a single video, and I'm going to show you guys basics of uh, how to animate the layer, how to move it, etc. So first, to have all of the layer informations, what you have to do is go ahead and click on this arrow right there, so you can drop down, and go ahead and click on transform. This is where you could scale your video, move it, you could rotate it, or even change the opacity this is where it all happens so if you want to make a little animation this is where it happens so let's start by doing an animation to warm up so what i'm going to do is just make a little simple scale animation like this so what i'm going to do is place myself at the beginning of my clip so what i'm going to do is click on scale and i'm going to click on the clock right there so now what it's going to do is going to create a keyframe for me right there as you can see and to animate it just slide through your video and just change the position of your scale and this will add another keyframe automatically as you can see it's really simple just like I like motion you can do the same for all the other values like rotation opacity position basically every single effects now to make it smoother what you can do is click on f9 on your keyboard this will make it a little bit more smooth but sometimes it is not what you want so what you'll have to do is just open the graph editor right there and as you can see you got a whole graph editor but we're not gonna go over this today we're just gonna look for the basics so now once this once you're done with your animation right there you can just click on the arrow right there and hide all of this now to add some effects what you can do now go over to effects and presets and you're gonna see a whole list of effects in different categories personally i want to add some distortion effects I'm just gonna search for it. Distort. And I think I want to use the turbulence this place. Once you know the effects you want to pick, just slide it inside of your clip like this. It's pretty simple. Now, as you can see, there's a new page that just appeared right there. Before it was this, that was this. You can alternate just by clicking there or there. Now this is the effects panel where you can animate and edit the effect setting. As you can see, I'm gonna just slightly change the amount. This is gonna change the amount of the effects. It's gonna change the size and it's gonna change the size of the effect just by highlight motions. It's pretty simple. Now to animate the effect, what you'll have to do is just simply go over to this little arrow again. And instead of going on transform, you're gonna go over to effects. Now you're gonna go over to turbulence displaced, the effect that you picked and you're gonna drop it down. Now you'll see the same value that you see right there and you will be able to control the keyframes a little bit more in depth. Like the amount, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a keyframe right there. I'm gonna slide through my timeline and I'm gonna decrease it a little bit like this. As you can see, my effect has an animation. The amount is decreasing as my video goes on. It's really simple, really easy to do. It's like I like motion, nothing is really different. So, it just looks different. Now, let's say you want to add another another media inside your video. Now, just go back to your project right there. 
gonna be the name of the project that you named now you're gonna go over there file import file now let's say i just want to put a picture let's say i put this picture right there you're gonna do the same as before just like slide it inside the timeline you can't see the picture that you just put it into your timeline it is because underneath the video if you just slide it then it will overlap on the video so as you can see it's a little bit oversized i'm just gonna fix it just by going on transform and changing the scale so with this picture right there i'm gonna show you all the second part you can toggle it on and off just by clicking on this like this and now you as you can see you got the blend modes um now we're on normal like this and if you want to put it on difference you'll see that it changed the mode blending mode As you can see you can play around with some some blending modes to fit what you like and if you don't want this this side of the the layer section anymore just click on this again and we'll have the basic one now if you don't want to play around with the the settings of the photo then just click on this arrow again and now how to make a group like an highlight motion all you have to do is click select both of these uh, layers by shift clicking both of the layers and now you're going to click on ctrl if plus c now you're going to have to name the group so call it group like this now, as you can see it's a group it has merged together and to edit inside of it you're just gonna have to double click like this and now you can edit the group inside of the group and it will apply it's really similar to a light motion nothing too complex um really and you got the tools right there it's just saying the, the way you want to see your your clip edit this right there is just to to move uh, the media like your project this is this right there is really important to move the anchor of your media so example for example you want to rotate it and um, like this will change the way uh, everything is getting rotated as you can see i'm just going to put it to default and this is where you have you have your text really simple just a t so you can start writing and just be sure to to select it to change the font because it won't work not you can change the size and you can apply an effects to the text also and yeah so yeah let's say we're happy with this edit but we only want nine seconds of it we, so what you're going to do is simply going over there drag this blue thing all the way to nine seconds like this now will only take in consideration the nine seconds now to export what you'll have to do click on composition click on a trendy queue now th those are settings that i recommend using you're gonna have to click on h264 right there or you're gonna click on quick time now you go on format option and select apple prores for it to hq click ok now select where you want it. you want to save your video and just it's render and this will render your video so this was the basics of after effects uh, i tried to use i like in terms to make it easier for my subscribers and yeah if you like the video don't hesitate to like or me on instagram and yeah see you in another video